Hey, how's it going guys? Jake Rudy Almighty here. Today I'm with my friends Tristan and Brandon. We're down here looking for river treasure. We're scuba diving and free diving. We found a lot of cool stuff. I stumbled upon something that I'm not too sure what to do. We have different opinions and um, it's just, I want to be respectful and I want to make sure we do this the right way. So uh, we're actually going to call the police here in a second, but we found remains of a person. So I was right next to Brandon actually and I was scuba diving underwater and I came across this black box. So I was intrigued, you know, I was like, what is this? So I opened it up, there's a bag inside and it looked like maybe like cement was in this bag or something. I don't know, it was just, it was different. So I pulled it out and the bag had a name on it and then it was actually from a crematory. And that was the moment when I realized that I found someone's remains. I think usually most people would just sprinkle the remains into the water, but this was like everything in one box just chucked out there so here's the problem is normally we would just like throw something like this back right but or not even mess with yeah it. but the problem is is like if we throw this back somebody else is going to find this thing so that's a lot of people dive here now somebody else is going to run across this so yeah. we're also thinking sprinkle it in the water you know just put them back in the river nobody's going to find them it'll go into the sand or you know whatever but the problem with that is we don't know if we can even do that or who are we to mess with this so i think yeah. the best move is to call the cops man. we want to be as respectful as yeah. possible I mean, we don't want to make person, the wrong you know? yeah it's a real person we yeah. don't want to make the wrong decision here i don't know what the right decision is to yeah. do here so we're going to call the police get their opinion so we're calling 911 right now it's not an emergency i just don't really know who else to call hello uh this isn't an emergency uh, my friends and i we're free diving out here and scuba diving in the river and we came across human remains cremated, cremated remains yeah my yeah. bad cremated remains of a person and i'm not too sure what we should do like the most respectful way i was hoping maybe we can have an officer come by and and we can uh, do the right thing is it in a container or uh it's, yeah it's it's in a black box but it's a whole bag and it's uh right down here by the steps on the river walk kind of where everybody uh swims at okay somebody else me. thank you appreciate it Bye bye. Cool. So, so the cops are gonna come and tell us kind of what's the best way to handle this situation. All right. So we just got off the phone with the police. They're on their way. I think that is the best decision we could do, uh, just because we don't really know what the best decision to do. So we're just gonna see what the the police's uh, opinion is. Hello. How are you doing? Found a gun last time. What'd you get this time? So we're scuba diving out here and we found a, a plastic box. I pulled it out and it was a uh, cremation remains of someone. And I wasn't too sure what to do with it, you know, whether or not to, to just actually maybe open it up, let it go, throw the bag away, or it's a full bag. And I don't know if I checked it back out, you know, someone else would find it. Yeah. And so it was in the water we found it. Yes. Yes. All right, what's, where is that? It's over here. So I thought I'd get your opinion on what would be the most respectful thing to do. Look at my ball point, man. Let's look for it. Here's the name on there. Is there a name on there? Yes. Let me, uh, let me get my sergeant to call. Okay. And they're probably going to get to the back of the water. Okay. How's the water? Cold. Eh, a little cold. Yeah, I mean, like, the wet's is good, but... 
Hey, Sarge. Uh, there was a guy scuba diving in the water. He found the box, pulled it up, and then that's when he found out that it was remains. Yeah. So I, I would just say put it back. I mean, somebody obviously put it here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's where whoever whoever put them there wanted them to be. Yep. Yep. So uh, that's what we'll do then. Yeah. Just put them back. Put them back. Yeah. Put them in back. the box. In the box. That's how he was. So I. Sure. However you found to put them back. All right. All right, man. I just want to make sure that was the right decision. No I just didn't want someone else to find it, but I guess I uh, got you. If you could maybe, I mean, if you want to put them down there, put a rock on top of them just to make them right. wash out. But. So the police think the, the best idea is to put the remains back in a box and throw it back out there in the river. So that's what we're going to do. You know, that's where he belonged. That's where the family wanted him to be. I just wasn't sure, you know, really what to do because I didn't want anyone else to find him and disturb. But um, I guess that's the right decision. So we're gonna do that. We really wanted to do this in the most respectful way. I guess in the end, putting the person back into the water was the right decision. Yeah. Uh, we were just second guessing on what we should do. Yeah. But that's what we did. Put it back out there in the river. Didn't want to show like where we put them. I didn't want anyone else to find them. But if you guys do come across something like this, I would recommend just leaving it be. I didn't know what I found at the time. I opened it up and I already disturbed the area. So I was like, all right, let's just call the police, see what we gotta do. I think we handled it pretty respectfully. Yes, we took things tried. very, very seriously, you know. Crazy, those police officers actually knew me from, <laughs> from when I gun. found the gun. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, there's a guy who found yeah. the gun. Well, hey, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, we'll be back out here looking for some more treasure in the future. Sure. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> My lips are in the same water as this thing. <laughs>